The ABC's James Bennett there, and as we just heard earlier today, the head of an infamous Melbourne crime family was shot dead at his Brooklyn home. Machua Chauk was allegedly involved in a bloody feud with a rival Lebanese family. He had an extensive criminal history, including convictions for trafficking heroin and assaulting police. Just before, Just before 11 o'clock this, this, morning, this morning, Mature Chayok was shot dead at his house. His wife Fatima was also home. Police say she had trouble telling them what happened because she was so distressed. This appears to not to be a random drive-by shooting. Three young children, all under preschool age, were also inside. Special Operations Group police charged into the house when they arrived. Police said the heavy-handedness was necessary to check it was safe before the homicide detectives entered. Mature Chayuk's youngest son, Omar, wept outside. Grieving relatives abused the media for getting too close. There were heated scenes at the same address five years ago when Mature Chayuk's son, Mohammed, was shot by police in a raid that resulted from an investigation into organised crime. Police again raided the house just last month. Machua Chayuk was questioned and released without charge. Police say the killer drove down a side street and shot Machua Chayuk through his backyard fence. He was dead by the time paramedics arrived. Police are now worried about revenge attacks. They'll investigate whether the shooting is linked to the Chayuk's long-running feud with the Hadara family. As you know, the San Diego Task Force has been looking at uh, the Chayok family for some time and they'll be putting in certain plans to try and ensure that uh, there's no immediate response. Police are yet to arrest any suspects into Mr Chayok's death. Emma O'Sullivan, ABC News, Melbourne.